Hi, it's Corrine, and I'd like to share with you a finished baby album, a girl baby album that I just completed. I'm using tons of gorgeous, gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts and a super sweet paper collection from Knitwit Collections called Baby's First Girl Collection. If you remember, I believe I shared this album, the Boy Collection, last week. It has a little shaker in the front. Well, this is the girl version of it, which I was really excited to work with as well. Both such an adorable collection. And I'll put links down in the description box for all the products used on um, for from Wild Orchid Crafts, excuse me, and also a link to the paper collection from Knitwit Collections. You'll also find that information on my blog. So check the description box for lots of information. I'll also add a mini album tutorial on how I make my mini albums and also a tutorial of how you can use digital paper packs when scrapbooking, different ways you can use them. And anybody can use digital paper packs. If you have a printer at home, you can print them, cut them out. You can use them with a Cricut, a Cameo. You can fussy cut them. You don't even need to have a Cameo to use the Silhouette design software. So you can download that for free from Silhouette America. And also you don't even technically have to have a printer to use digital papers. You can have them sent off to your um, local copy store. So let's get started with this album. This album is 8 by 6 It's a very chunky album. And if you follow me at all, you know that I do a lot of baby's first year albums. I, I think they're the greatest gift to give a new mom. It follows the entire first year of the baby. And I always do a spot for a monthly photo since lots of moms like to do a monthly photo and be able to see the changes that the baby makes. So that's what this album is. I've used Kathy Orta's Hidden Hinge Binding System. And I go over that in my mini album tutorial that I'll link in the description box. Um, I gave myself a 3 8 of an inch gusset. On the front here, I have this gorgeous paper. I did Mod Podge the outside of the album and some of the inside of the album, which I'll show you in a moment. This just makes it so if something gets on it, it can be wiped off. This is a scallop die cut that I cut from my Silhouette machine, and I think I did about five layers of it. And in between, I did the same paper that you see here, the same digital paper. I put it here and added a... Um, sentiment that I had in my stash and I added a piece of clear cardstock from Heartfelt Creations that I got from Cut at Home in between so as you can see it has a little shine on it. I added some gorgeous gardenias. I like to take apart the, the gardenias from Wild Orchid Crafts and layer them. Um, first of all it gives it a lower profile and second of all it makes them go further. So I layered a pink one and a white one and then I layered two pink ones here. I used some wild roses and the same thing. This is um, a wild rose that I, I, on this one I just took apart some of the layers. That way I could set it inside the gardenia and it wasn't too large. I added some gorgeous hip rosebuds. These are some of my favorite to use some beautiful sweetheart blossoms, some of the rose leaves, and these little dots that look like enamel dots are new for me. They are by Nuvo. These are so much fun to work with. I got these from So Susie Stamps. I'll put a link down in the description box as well for these, and they're just like how you would use stickles. They have a fine tip applicator so you literally just drop them down and they are self self leveling so they end up looking just like enamel dots there are different kinds of these the ones that look like enamel dots are the gloss let me see if I can zoom in on that a little right there it says gloss that gives them that shine they also have pearl um, looking ones let me show you a little bit up close. I love them. So I added a few here and there. I used some rosette trim on the side. I added a very large bow that I cut from my silhouette and I used the paper collection from Knitway Collections. I added a rhinestone buckle with a large pearl in the center. And I also Mod Podge this as well. So it's very sturdy, very stable, being that it's on the outside of the album. Here is the back. I used the same paper that's on the front here as a mat. I added some satin trivet, excuse me, satin ribbon for trim on the side. 
more for decoration. It doesn't need, the, the album sits nicely on its own. Even once there's photos in there, it's going to sit very nicely. And so this album is a little bit different. You may have seen me do a similar one. I did coin envelopes for every single um, month throughout. And if you're interested, I'll put the size because it took me a little while to figure it out. I wanted a five and a half by seven and a half. That's what I started with. I started with what size I wanted my pages to be. And I wanted my finished page to be five and a half by seven and a half. So I'll put the um, uh, dimensions of how I cut and hopefully they still have this envelope. I got this from the Silhouette online store. So I'll try and link you to that as well. Sometimes they don't have those in the store anymore. So if they do, I'll link that along with the size that I used to end up getting a five and a half by seven and a half. So on the front page here, it's gonna start out with month one, as I explained through month 12. So this one is technically month one, but I do have a newborn um, journaling card in here, which I'll show you in just a moment. On the front here, I did Mod Podge all these little critters just to give them extra strength. I did a little belly band using some of the paper collection and one of the labels from the collection that says cute as a button. and some sweetheart blossoms. I think these are just so perfect in a little album. Plus they're very low profile, so they don't add a lot of bulk. And here are some more of those Nuvo drops. They're called crystal drops. They look just like enamel dots to me. I love them. I did let them dry overnight before I did anything. So here's this gorgeous paper, I love it. And I added a mat to every single page. This is a this is a four and a half by six and a half mat of white cardstock. And then I added a four and a quarter by six and a quarter mat so the mom can place a photo on the front, the back, or journaling. I added cute little bows um, using a bow. I'll try and link to that as well from Silhouette America. And just adding whatever paper from the paper collection to it. Look at this ivory heart in the center. I love those and I think it just went so well with this paper collection. Those are from Wild Orchid Crafts and I think if you check out Wild Orchid Crafts I think you'll be surprised by their prices. They're very reasonable. So this is one of the elements that come in the paper collection. Um, if you get a the bundled collection from Knitwit Collections it saves you like 20% and that's what I'm using here so I, I've used tons of elements that come in it. I did layer them. I layered this uh, with two layers. That way it can be used as a journaling card or just left as a decoration. So these also come in the collection. I added a piece to the back just to let them stand out and because um, otherwise the, the it's, it's a light gray but it sort of blended into the coin envelope. And as you can see I designed, I cut out a piece to layer on top from the paper collection and added different brads throughout. These brads I had in my stash, they're fabric brads. I've had them for years and I thought they went perfect in this collection. So every single coin envelope opens up. Photos can be placed in here. I wouldn't suggest a ton of photos just because it's pretty thick paper, but the mom can add at least probably two or three photos to every month. So this is the only one that does include this welcome baby. Again, this comes in the collection. I just printed it out and I did print out more papers, different striped papers, because I wanted to add a border to the top and bottom of every single one of my journaling cards. So as you can see, the mom can fill out all this information about the newborn baby, add a newborn photo, add journaling, and then this, photo, or, um, this album takes over for the rest of the month. So here's month one. All the um, tags are the exact same with different color papers. I'll probably pull one more out to show you, but I won't pull them all out. Actually, I'll just set that aside. On the next page, I have a large rattle. I did Mod Podge it as well, so it's very sturdy. Added a couple layers of cardstock. I do get asked a lot what cardstock I use and what printer I use, and if it uses a lot of ink. The answer is no. I print in high resolution. It does not use a ton of ink. Um, I'm, you, you'd be surprised on how little ink, and I, I'm sure it depends on your printer as well, but mine does not use a lot. I will add at the end of this video a picture of what paper I used to print out on and the printer that I use as well. So here's another mat. I have this little journaling card. It comes in the collection. 
So lots of places for journaling. The mom can add a photo behind this here and also a photo to the journaling knot. Here's one of the labels. It says first smile. I used one of these um, resin flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love them. I think it was a great addition to this. Month two. On this one, these little frames come in the collection as well. This large safety pin. Um, you can size it up or down, whatever you want to do. I use more of the gardenia flowers and the sweetheart blossoms. And this is a rhinestone in a um, diamond from Wild Orchid Crafts. Same with this little sugar and spice. I printed that out. I also printed a, a map behind it from the paper collection along with those two adorable little flowers from Wild Orchid Crafts. And this is left open so the mom can slide a, I believe this is a 4x4 four four photo. It's completely open. Here is month three. I used some brads from Wild Orchid Crafts. On month four, this paper I cut out with a Spellbinders die. I believe this is the Spellbinders um, 3 die. And one of the many things I like about digital papers is I basically designed this paper myself. So the paper comes like this. They already have a little um, element like this clustered for you with the cute little lion and it says hello baby with flowers. And I just added it. You can either cut that out and add it as an element. I added it to this paper and then cut it out with my Sizzix die cut machine. I added a little sugar and spice label. These little pearl hearts are from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love them. And then I added a white pocket in the back as well. Here is the mat for this page. Added some flat back pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's a cute little journaling card comes in the collection and this I absolutely love it's the little bottle they have two of them um, did I already show you one no we'll come to another one but this is great just for decoration or to add dates a tiny little two by two photo would fit or just journaling so here is month number four I wanted to show you another month because they are different actually I pulled out one with the same stripe paper but I have some that have pink and white stripe and all of these are going to be different colors but the good thing about them is you don't have to worry about them coordinating they all already coordinate for you and that's what I like about using one collection you don't have to worry about it coordinating so on this one again I designed the same paper this digital stamp came with the collection and it says the littlest feet make the biggest footprints in your heart added this cute little bear. These are actual enamel dots that I added and I used a Spellbinders die. This is the Curved One Borders die. Adorable paper. Here is the mat for this, this page and the heart is left open so the mom can slide her photo underneath. Here is another journaling card that comes in the collection. I just printed that out, cut it out. And here's a little tag. It has a um, tag shape at the top. I cut that out. That comes in the collection. Added some seam binding and this adorable little charm that says love. This I got from Michaels in the wedding section actually. Month five. This is month six. I put this adorable line here, Mod Podge them a couple layers and he serves as a pocket so a photo can be placed behind this. Also photos can be placed in these pockets. These are fairly large pockets so the mom if she wanted to could probably get four or five four by six photos or even five by seven photos in this pocket. Here's the tag for this side. I use some of these adorable sweetheart blossoms. They're some of my favorites from Wild Orchid Crafts and they come in all different colors. Another tag with some seam binding and another journaling card. It says dream big little one. Love this. So these just tuck in here. I use some uh, fabric brads here, some of the flower paper. Month seven I made a belly band using this beautiful organza rose trimming from Wild Orchid Crafts. I put a bow here with one of the large sparkly rhinestones again from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's the mat. It says all tuckered out. Again photo can slide back here. And here's this adorable onesie and I added a couple layers so it's very sturdy and I also made it, I don't want to bend it now but it has score marks in it so the mom can bend it out and add journaling to it and maybe a tiny photo if she wanted to. 
so it's an extra journaling spot. Seven, I used some sparkling brads that I had in my stash. This one, again, I designed the paper. I added this digital stamp that comes in the collection. It says, you are so loved, little one. Added it and used a Spellbinders Borders one die. A little bow that I used two different colors paper. And another one of those ivory hearts. Those look so, these ivory hearts can fit in pretty much anything, but I love them in baby albums and wedding albums. Here's the mat, and I use some of these uh, miniature gardenia flowers. I love those. They, those come in all different colors as well. And here's another little journaling spot. It's a little rattle, and I love this. I think Mary Fran did such an amazing job with this collection. And it is, like I said, such a great gift to give. I do a ton of these albums. Here is month number eight. Let me see what, again, using some pearl brads from Wild Orchid Crafts. Let's see. Well, I'll show you this. I was hoping to find one where I had some of the, because I did different colors. I did green and then two different pink colors. And then this is just crochet twine that I wrap around a couple times. So mom can also place, uh, you know, e ephemera in there, like maybe doctor checkups, things like that. So here is a baby bottle. I added a little label that says precious. Love the polka dot paper. Here is my mat. I added three flat back pearls, again from Wild Orchid Crafts. This, as you know if you follow me at all, I love these. They come in every collection that Knitwit puts out. And they're the little paint chip and it says your first breath took hours away. So that, again, perfect for journaling or just left for decoration. Let's see what month nine has. I used some more pearl brads from Wild Orchid Crafts. And here's a little bit different one. So I used a light pink stripe paper. Throughout I used also a, a darker pink. Just so all the months are slightly different. Month 10, I used the same Borders 1 scallop die from Spellbinders. Again, I added this. This stamp comes in the collection. It says, a baby makes love stronger, the days shorter, the nights longer, and a home so much happier. I took a block, so that stamp comes like that. I took a block that matched this paper and just placed it behind it to make it look like a, um, a bigger label. And then I added some flowers. This collection comes with lots of flowers. I don't believe I used many throughout. I think um, I just use them for things like this. But you can also cut them out and use them, you know, behind your other flowers. Added a bow with an adorable pearl center. Another label. Uh, journaling spot. Here is my mat for this one. I used some white off-white chrysanthemums and this little rhinestone flower with the diamond in the center. Month 11, I used this little guy as a um, belly band of sorts. It, it, it holds it in there and here's my little mat left open so the mom can tuck her photo behind it. This little journaling card. Sometimes the smallest things take up the most room in your heart. Winnie the Pooh. Some sweetheart blossoms. Gosh, I'm so in love with this paper collection. I can't even tell you. So on this side I added this sentiment. This is from my own stash. It says beautiful baby. This paper behind it and then I use this uh, box pleated ribbon from Wild Orchid Crafts and this flower trim along with this beaded pearl flower. I love that flower trim going down the, the ribbon here. So to the pockets I have the mat with another bow and one of the pearl centers from Wild Orchid Crafts. I love this light gray paper. It goes so well with the baby collection. I have another journaling spot. Look how cute that is. And then here's it to the pocket. And on the last page, I have 
some pink seam binding and pink tulip and I made an accordion style fold out so the mom can add lots more photos to it and on the back page I left for the birthday it says happy happy birthday to you I designed that on um, my silhouette added a, a mat the mom can tuck the baby's first birthday behind here I added some pearl trim around the whole outside of my mat another gardenia, some of these beautiful cherry blossoms, and a an open rose. And look at this adorable element. I was able to cut that out. So I hope you've enjoyed this flip through. Check the description box for more information. And please stop by Wild Orchid Crafts and Knitwood Collections. Thanks so much for watching.